Here we are at uh, Indian Mound Fish Camp in Oak Hill, Florida. So it's not far from uh, New Smyrna Beach, it's not far from uh, Daytona Beach. And in this video, we are going to give you the full-on tour of this campground. It's small, there's not uh, too many sites, and they are uh, close together. But we're going to uh, film every single site so you can make an educated decision on which is the best site for you to book. Uh, Edie's going to stroll through the gift shop and uh, they, it's, it's more than a gift shop. It's definitely a bait shop. Uh, this place is known for its fishing. That's why they call it a, uh, a fish camp. Uh, I know our neighbors are bringing back monster redfish. So if you're a saltwater fisherman and you like to kayak, this is a great place to come. Uh, so we're going to show you some uh, aerial footage on uh, both sides of the campground and And we're going to attempt to see a manatee which our neighbor saw right in back of us Yeah, and uh, there's plenty of dolphins here as well If that is the kind of content you'd like to see more and more Please do give us a thumbs up Click that notification bell and of course, please do subscribe to the Little House of Beans we will love you in our little tribe. Okay, so let's get on. Look, you can see that's the back of the fish camp right there. Let us get on with the video. Check the description below as well. I'll put some channel markers in there if you want to fast forward stuff. So thank you for watching our Little House of Beans YouTube channel. And we will see you soon. Let's get on with the tour. can start the walking tour of Indian Fish Mount Camp. This right here is site A. There is water behind it, but there's brush, the same as site B. So there's water behind there, but you can't see it. Site number one. And site number two, site number three, and site number four with the brookside, site number five, the outback, site number six with the area, site number seven with the reflection. Looks like site number eight is the first one. Ah, site number seven, you got water back there. Site number eight, empty, you got water. Number number nine with the Winnebago. And number 10 with the Amerilite. Off to the left of me, there's brush, canal. And the way I'm walking is the way that you drive in. So to my left here, Site 36, and Site 35 with the Jayco. And these all back up. I think these are the nicer ones, not necessarily uh, for any other reason other than the, the water is back there. This is 34 and 33, the Catalina is. To the right of that is the bathroom. I was in the men's room, it's pretty much a single person. 32 right here. And 31. This is site 30 with the expedition. 
Site 29, Site 28, and just to the right of Site 28 is your boat ramp slash kayak ramp. To the right of there is some parking, and to the right of that is the bait house and gift shop. I'm going to walk back and show you the other side of this, the other side of this road, which will turn here. So I'll walk back to the bathroom and do it that way. So right next to the bathhouse here is site number 12. Sorry, that's site 11. That is site 12. Next to that is site 13. Site 14, and that backs up to water as well. Uh, all of these on this side. Site 15 with the Winnebago. Site 16. 17. And we are temporarily parked on what I will call Site 18. Uh, there's no water. We have 15 amp service. And is where we're temporarily parked so I'm gonna keep walking here it looks like I don't I haven't been down here yet but people put their boat trailers here and you can see how nice the view is but I can keep walking here and then maybe I'll come around so these are the cottages here and this one is where I slept in last night We'll not be able to tour these other cottages or cabins. And it looks like these are other sites. I'll walk around and see if there's site numbers. So here is the rest of the, the little canal. I'm not going to cut through. I'm going to walk back around and we'll see what uh, what these are. So if we continue from the from the boat ramp and go forward to the end, again this is the bait house and gift shop store. There's the Redfish Cottage. Looks like they have some laundry facilities and. Another set of restrooms. And that looks like the salty air retreat. I don't know. Actually, maybe this is not part of the campground or these are permanent residents, but the sign does say private road for residents and guests only. Not really sure what that means, but I'm gonna walk it. I don't see. Ah, okay, so that one says 27. I'm not really sure which one is 27. Morning. I can't tell the site numbers on this side. Up oh, 20. Twenty-five. So maybe that's twenty-six. Morning. And then this is the end of the road right here. This definitely is a permanent residence. I don't see a marker number for that either. These also back up to the nice water. So if you're looking on a map, I'm sorry I can't tell you exactly which the site numbers are because they're not marked but you get the idea and I will walk over to the pier so this is the fishing pier
tell you if you have a boat, you like to fish. This looks like an optimum place. I saw people fishing last night in the pitch, pitch black. And supposedly you see a lot of manatees and dolphin. You got guys here fishing. And you can see the fog. And here's the view. From the other side. And that's pretty much it. Now I'll walk into the bait and beer shop. Show you what that looks like. Boiled peanuts. There's all the beer. Plenty of snacks. Lots of t-shirts. Hats. And bait. And hats. And tools and camping tools more t-shirts you know I'm not gonna I'm gonna have to leave it at least two hats <laughs> and you can get bait here and you can rent fishing gear here so you can see pretty much almost everything you need if not everything I guess this is for live bait. Yes. Oh, shrimp. And there you have it. That's the uh, bait shop, gift shop. And there is a unusually excellent beer selection in the bait store. I mean, seriously. Who stocks, who stocks this? And there's more. As you come up, you have a fire pit and a bunch of chairs and a barbecue and a teeny tiny little picnic table. And we have some stairs leading to a cute little porch. And here's the front of your Here's your view from Manatee Manor. And let's go in. So there's Edie. She, Edie is now a member of Manatee Manor. <laughs> Edie, I'll tell you this. The sand may brush off, the salt may wash clean, the tans may fade, but the memories will last forever. You will forever. remember. Oh, I'll well remember this moment. That's yeah, for sure. This is a tragedy. So as I walk in to my left, we have the AC unit and we have a microwave, a Keurig and a small television. We have a little kitchenette where you're not allowed to fry fish or chicken. Some storage above, some storage below. Opposite the kitchen where Edie is staying, we have a uh, couch and a refrigerator. And then as we walk further back, we have the upper and lower bunks. I'm considering testing the, the weight capacity oh of that upper bunk. And then to your left of that bunk, you have a full bathroom, sink. Looks like towels are provided, some storage area. A lovely Bemis toilet and a full-size shower with shampoo and shower gel on the wall. And then further back, you have the Monster Suite, which looks like uh, that's a queen-size bed. And I'll back up a little bit. Or can I do this? I can do that. So this is what the room looks like with a wide angle. And... You have a headboard, two pillows for each person, a nightstand on one side, 
And if I turn around, oh, there is a TV in here, Edie. Okay. Edie loves when there's a TV and a fan. And there is, you, you do have a, a view of the water or somebody else's campground from that window. And there's the view of our puppies. And then that is it. So this is Manatee Manor. This is one of the cabins here at Indian Mound no. okay. Fish Camp. And hopefully tomorrow, once we get settled in, that'll be us where we can do a little kayaking right from there because our site, as I had alluded to earlier, is right over there. So even though we're off to a rocky start, uh, I still think it's going to be fantastic. That is an entire tour of Indian Mound Fish Camp. And here we are at the end of our camping trip. We stayed at this campsite, Indian Mound Fish Camp. You know, I'm watching like a dolphin right there. You see that? I do. So many dolphins and so many manatees. Are you hiding behind me? We had a wonderful stay here at Indian Mound Fish Camp. Uh, the staff is fantastic. So can we recommend this campground? Absolutely. Are we gonna try to book for next year? We definitely are. Yeah, we like it here. And we didn't even get to go kayaking and we blew the kayak up but uh, it was really windy on the yeah. day that we had planned to do it, so we chose not to go. But uh, hopefully you like the footage, you like the tour of the campground, hopefully you like the aerial footage. That's really my first time or second time doing some aerial footage. And that is it, great campground. If you enjoy this type of content, and we have plenty of campground tours, please do us a favor, the best thing you can do is to give us a thumbs up. Smooshy that like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. If you are a subscriber, thank you for sticking with us. I hope you're enjoying what we do here on the little channel. And if you'd like to be notified when we pop out new videos, typically Sunday nights, hit that notification bell. Any final words, my love? We wish all of you a very happy new year. Yes. She included me in the Wii, right? She did. That's it. Until the next video, we will see you soon. Ooh.